Good morning, Year 5. Let's take a look at today's maths meeting. For this session, you're going to need something to write with and something to write on. Press play once you have both of these things with you. We're going to start with Ariana Grande. Area is the term used to define the amount of space taken up by a 2D shape or surface. We measure area in square units, centimetre squared or metre squared. I would like you to work out the area of both of these shapes. Press pause now to have a go and then press play once you are ready. I know that to find the area, I need to multiply the length and the width together. Because I can see that these shapes are on squared paper, I could also simply count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the area of the first shape would be 20 centimetres squared. If I was to count the squares on the second shape, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I would know that the area of the second shape is 9 centimetres squared. Or I could work it out like this. I can see that the length is 5 centimetres and the width is 4 centimetres. If I multiply them together, I get 20 centimetres. The second shape, I've got 3 centimetres and 3 centimetres. If I multiply them together, I will have 9 centimetres squared. Well done if you used either of these methods. Now I'd like you to try one without the squared paper. This means that you do not have the option of counting the squares and you will need to multiply the numbers. Press pause now to work out your answer and then press play once you are ready to continue. Well done. I would need to multiply the length and the width. 12 centimetres multiplied by 4 centimetres gives me 48 centimetres squared. The area of the first shape would be 48 centimetres squared. For the second shape, I'm going to multiply 6 centimetres by 6 centimetres which gives me 36 centimetres squared. The area of the second shape is 36 centimetres squared. Let's move on to know what Noah knows. Your question is one quarter at 1.7. Press pause now to work out your answer using related facts and then press play once you are ready to continue. Brilliant. We know that one quarter is the same as 0 0.25. I could add 0 0.25 to 1.7 this makes my calculation easier as I am adding two decimal numbers. My answer would be 1.95. Let's try another one. Three quarters, add 0 0.6. Press pause now to work out your answer and then press play once you are ready.
Well done. Three quarters as a decimal is 0 0.75. I'm going to add this to 0 0.6, which is going to give me 1.35. So the answer to three quarters add 0 0.6 would be 1.35. Well done if you managed to get that. Let's take a look at efficient Addison. Which numbers would be most efficient to multiply by? Your question is 12 times 3 times 4. Press pause now to work out the answer using the most efficient method and then press play once you are ready to continue. Brilliant. I would multiply 12 by 4 first, as I know that I could double 12 and then double it again. 12 multiplied by 4 would give me 48. I'm then going to multiply my answer by 3, which gives me 144. Well done if you answered the question in that order. That's your maths meeting finished for today, Year 5. Well done.